Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vanya. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the questions. Should I let my newborn sleep through the night? How long should I let my newborn sleep before waking them up? After each feed, should I put my newborn back to bed right away? And lastly, when should I let my baby sleep through the night? Today we will be looking at whether or not you should let your newborn baby sleep through the night. Straight off, the answer is no. In reality, your baby that's a newborn will never sleep through the whole night. So the question is more, how long should you really let your newborn sleep? When your baby is first born, their stomach is only the size of a cherry. At a week, your baby's stomach is the size of an apricot. And at one month old, it's the size of an egg. So realistically, your baby's stomach cannot hold that much milk. So because of this, your baby will get hungry fast. Therefore, between one month of your baby being born, you should not let him or her sleep through the night. In the newborn stage, your baby should be woken up every three to four hours to feed. In reality, your baby's stomach is too small to hold the amount of milk they need for long hours of rest. So, don't be lazy. Feed the baby. So, when can my baby sleep through the night? Or really, when should I let them sleep through the night? Because at the end of the day, babies can do what they want. As your baby gets older and thus gain more weight, then you should let your baby sleep through the night. So on average, when your baby gets about four months old, you will see them sleeping longer hours and thus they will show you that they are capable of sleeping the whole night without any feet. You will see your baby beginning to wake up earlier. So at four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, they will wake up for an early feed. But you would have gotten a good night's rest or at least a longer stretch of a night's rest. But remember, every baby is different. So you can pass your concerns to your pediatrician and let them guide you the way that they see fit. While feeding your baby overnight is critical. Critical. That year he's burped. You should burp your baby in an upright position for about 10 to 15 minutes to ensure she gets she or him gets a good burp if you do not burp your baby if you feel tired if you're lazy and you decide mm -mm, not tonight you are not burping your baby your baby is not going to go right back to sleep he or her may be uncomfortable they might be crying they might get all antsy because their stomachs have not yet settled and this will put your sleep time to nothing because you were lazy you were tired and you didn't want to bring your baby so please ensure that you burp your baby so both you and your baby can get the rest that y'all need to have a good day tomorrow because y'all know and they don't have a good night's rest as we miss over the next day and you ain't want that you don't want that not at all. So recap. Ensure that your baby is fed every three to four hours as a newborn. After feeding, make sure you burp your baby in an upright position for 10 to 15 minutes. At three to four months, then your baby will be showing signs that they are ready to sleep longer, may or may not sleep through the night. Every baby is different. And finally, be blessed and not stressed. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, 
please give me a like and subscribe and leave a comment. The question is, how long did it take your baby to sleep through the night? When your baby is finally sleeping, you can be like, "Dog girl, and get that rest. Always ensure that you sleep while your baby is sleeping. That's the key to life. Don't forget it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned at least one thing new. See you next time. Bye.